CataractCoach.com, flipping up the epinuclear shell. If you flip it up out of the capsule bag, it really facilitates aspiration. Let me show you what I mean here. Just a couple quick clips. Here's a case of me operating. This is a big epinuclear shell. And if I get it like this and look with the chopper, I'm flipping it over. By flipping it, it just makes it so easy to aspirate it out. Much, much easier. So I use the faker probe to grab it and then use the chopper to help flip it. Let's look at another one. So again, grabbing the epinuclear shell here and then just chopper, look at the position there, flips it up. And once it's flipped up, it just aspirates very easily. So there's a little nuclear chip, take that out. And again, cleaning up the capsule bag pretty easily. It's a lot more efficient to clean up the epinuclear shell with the FACO probe than it is with the IA probe. IA probe works too, but it's just a lot slower and less efficient. Let's look at that first case one more time. So again, grabbing here. And then as soon as I grab it, use the chopper to flip it up. And now I flipped it up. Look how easy it is to aspirate. And basically, no, we're very minimal FACO energy. You just need the vacuum. You don't need FACO power for that. So you want to just do a little gentle vacuum. Here's another one. Big, dense, thick epinuclear shell. If I can grab it and get it out of the bag there, see how the chopper pushes it and flips it? You want to flip that shell and then it comes out pretty easily. So that's how I like to do it for most of these cases. Now, depending on how you do it, watch carefully here. We grab, here we go, grabbing that capsule. No, I'm joking with you. You're grabbing the epinuclear shell. Nice and easy. So here's some last cataract pieces coming out. Those are okay. Once those are out and the probe's clear and pieces aren't coming to us anymore, well, now we need to grab the epinuclear shell. So just with the vacuum only, no phaco power, vacuum only, maybe about 400 millimeters of mercury of vacuum. Nice and easy. Didn't work over there. We'll try over on this side. Grab that shell. And as soon as you get a reasonable grab, look at the choppers ready in that position to flip it over. So here, now I'm getting a good grab. So as soon as I grab it, now look, the chopper will push. See how the chopper pushes? Again, grab with just vacuum. There, the chopper will push it. That gets it out of the bag and makes it so easy. So that's the epinuclear flip technique. At this point, well, wow, it's pretty easy. Just vacuum it all down, aspirate it. Again, very little or no phaco power, just vacuum. Chopper stays in that safe position to protect the capsule bag. And that's just an easy trick. You got to learn it. Now, if you want to learn more of these great pearls, you know we got a great teaching website, cataractcoach.com. I know you love YouTube, so do I, and I like to watch on Instagram too. I got gotcha. you. But if you actually want to do a deep dive and look for something, don't email me. Just do a search function on cataractcoach.com. Check it out. I promise you'll love it. So again, here's one more time in real time. Check this out. Vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. Those pieces come down. There's the big epinuclear shell. Now, again, grabbing it. As soon as you grab it, I'll try push with the chopper. Look, push, push, push. Grab and push and flip it over. And that's the epinuclear flip technique. Works so beautifully. I want you to check it out. Remember, we also have the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. Sole purpose, make you more successful in your career. You check it out. I promise you'll learn a lot.